Hi everyone, I'm Ming from SenseCap MX team. Today, I'm glad to show you our new release SenseCap M2 data only LoRaWAN hotspot here. And in today's video, we are going to talk about how SenseCap M2 data only looks like, what are included in the package, and how we could onboard SenseCap M2 data only to Helium network. Let's open the box gently. The first item you could see is the data only hotspot. And the user menu for you to get started with your hotspot. And the power adapter different version with different standard and the magnetic base for the LoLa antenna and here is the 3 dbi gate high performance LoLa antenna that's all for the package now let's see how to set up the hotspot firstly we should attach the LoLa antenna magnetic base to the hotspot. Please do not tighten the antenna with excessive force, otherwise you may break the device connector. Secondly, we should connect the power adapter. When you connect the power adapter, you could see the power LED shows in red or green indicating that the power is on. Thirdly, it is suggested to connect the hotspot to the internet via Ethernet cable. And you could also connect the Wi-Fi after you set up the hotspot. The boot up will take up about 40 seconds and the indicator on the top will show solid green after it's boot up. Open App Store, search Helium, download the Helium hotspot, and then turn back, type SenseCap hotspot. and download the SenseCap Hotspot app. Open the SenseCap Hotspot app you download. If you did not register a SenseCap Hotspot account, you could create an account here or you could log in with this code. You could simply create a SenseCap hotspot account with your email and log in. Open Helium, create an account if you did not have one, or import your existing Helium wallet account with the 12 seat password. Submit. Set your PIN code. Open SenseCap app again. You will be asked if you would like to link the Helium wallet to SenseCap. Confirm. And then you could select the hotspot in your Helium wallet and add to the SenseCap account. When the indicator shows slow orange, it means the hotspot is being firmware upgrading. Normally for a brand new device, the first thing you should do is to connect it to the internet and let it have the latest firmware. So please be patient with the process which will take a few minutes and do not power off the device or disconnect the internet. Otherwise you will meet an expected error. 
or you could not onboard the SenseCap M2 to the Helium network successfully. After several minutes, you will see the indicator on the top show solid green, like this, which means the firmware updating has been completed. And now we could do further step with the hotspot. Open the SenseCap hotspot app, and then click the plus sign on the top, and choose your hotspot type which is SenseCap M2 data only. Just read the tips and click I have read the guide. I understand and I power it up. Enable the Bluetooth and click scan for my hotspot. Long press for 5 seconds and then release. And you will see the indicator shows slow blue, which means it has been entered into the configuration mode. One hotspot found and click SenseCap M2. Set up the Wi-Fi if you did not connect it via Ethernet cable. If you have Ethernet cable, just click use Ethernet instead. Set up the hotspot location, which you could also do it after the hotspot being onboarded. Search your location or your future placement location on the map. Confirm and set the location. And then comes to the antenna setup. The default is SenseCap M2 data only with 3 dBi gain antenna and enter the height. Confirm with the information and then submit to the Helium. And it will automatically jump to Helium Wallet and ask for your confirmation. Click I confirm and then the process will take a few minutes. So you could just close this screen and then turn back to the SenseCap app to check if your hotspot has been added to the list. Half an hour later, let's check. There is a new hotspot and check the activities. There are four new transactions list. The first two are for the hotspot location update. And the other is for the hotspot added to the blockchain transaction. The data only hotspot has two same transactions just because the data credit is deducted from the owner's account. For SenseCap M1, there will be only two different transactions showing. And now you could make sure that your hotspot has been successfully onboarded to the Helium network. This is all for today's video. Hope you enjoy our unboxing of the SenseCap M2 data only hotspot. See you next time.